Good morning, Americans. This is your favorite alien and Bubba here on Sunday, September 1st. Football season's here. Uh, anyway, we're sitting in for Paul Harvey today. Stand by for commentary. Well, Americans, here we are on September 1st, Labor Day weekend. And you're going to be doing the same old, same old. You're going to be watching football, putting an eye on uh, the Weather Channel concerning Dorian. And the Dum-Dums are in town. They'll be doing their town hall tomorrow night on your regular uh, CNN, which means can't know nothing. But that's, you know, with a K, but if you say can't and no, 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 because it always says no and nothing. That's CNN. It used to be the Clinton Network. Anyway, uh, and those dum-dums over there uh, will be saying anything but what you need to know. And one of the topics that will come out, as usual, from the dum-dums is climate change. Which, of course, you hear a Twitter from our illustrious leader saying, that's a hoax. Yeah, right. <laughs> but speaking as an alien from another planet, what's killing you here in climate change is capitalism. Profit. That's what's killing you and making your planet a lot worse than it is. Point? The president of Brazil. His attitude towards his home country and his home atmosphere. Crazy, huh? And then you get the leader of the United States. Oh, we're getting out of the Paris Accord? Yeah, right. You do have a way of controlling the problem that you have created. But do you want to do it? Hey, there's no money in that. Why should we do it? And here is the way you can do it. If you take the top three military powers of this planet, United States, China, and Russia, and each one contributes a billion dollars, a billion dollars, from their military. And you can say, oh, a billion dollars is a lot. Really? The United States spends over $700 billion a year in defense. China, they're over $200 billion. Russia, about the same. Uh, really? A billion dollars is a lot? Hey, 10% of China is $20 billion to 1%, so that's under 1% of the Chinese budget. It's under 1% of the American budget, and it's under 1% of the Russian budget. Really? And then you take that $3 billion for 10 years, so you have a billion dollars a year, that's $30 billion. That uh, The three of them, then you have France and uh, Germany and England. So they put $500 million, because they don't, you know, they're just second-class powers. Uh... And the rest of the country put at least in $10 million. We would like more, but say $10 million <clears throat> of their budget. Military, if you don't have a military budget, well, you can put something less. But if you have a military budget, oh, $10 million. You add all that up together. You got, what, 200 and some countries around here? Hey, 100 countries at $10 billion, that's a lot of money a year. But you do that. You got enough here to create plants in the different countries and you need at least like six of them in the United States alone. You may need a little more. You may need more in China. You definitely will need more in Russia and in the other countries. One a piece in France and England and stuff like that, you know. Uh, and these plants will be like your air conditioner. You notice that your air conditioner takes air from the outside and then cools it and it comes cold on the inside and blows the hot air outside. Well, how come you can't have a plant that'll take the air and uh, keep the gases that you don't want? Carbon dioxide, 
methane uh, and other gases like that and the other gases that are good it just rotates it out but the problem comes in what are you going to do with the gases that's something that you have to decide that's why the United States should stay in the Paris Accord but President Trump doesn't see it he just sees it's messing up our jobs because it's messing up capitalism capitalism is what's killing your planet you don't understand it and I don't think this video will make you understand it either but what do you think of my plan here? You have the technology to build these plants right now. You've had it for 35, 40 years. You've had this technology. You can build these plants. They're nice super plants. And then you can have other plants like the eugenics plants here in uh, Smyrna, Georgia, and over in Chicago that's spilling all these lethal gases up there. Well, you can have a certain system that can make the gases, instead of spilling it into the atmosphere, collect them. But then again, you get the same problem that you got to resolve. What do you do with them? We had to resolve it. What did we do? We had a gas giant in our uh, uh, system that we adopted, and that's where we put them away, because the gas giant can eat them. It's about uh, two and a half times as big as Jupiter. So we had the technology, we had the ships available, and we had the barges, so we just put them on the barges, and uh, away they went. It doesn't destroy the planet, because the planet needs the gas to survive over there. So it's a win-win situation for them, win-win situation for us. But you don't have that here, because you never developed coexistence. That's the problem with you Americans and Terrans. You never developed it. So, this is my commentary for today. This is your favorite alien. And Bubba, sitting here for Paul Harvey today. Good day.